everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show how to use the ST link to pull the firmware uh, bootloader. So um, last time I have showed this development board. It's about six euro board I got from AliExpress, and it comes with uh, two push button and also the uh, three LED. Uh, two of them we can use. And then I want to program my own uh, firmware or application and I want to use the USB or Bluetooth in order to write the firmware into the device and what I have done is um, I have found a bootloader here uh, actually the Adafruit bootloader this is a, a very good bootloader it has the features of using the OTA so we can do the DFU device firmware update over the uh, Syria and also the Bluetooth channel. And this is a um, really handy feature so you can easily use the, because this board also comes with a USB to UR uh, conversion so you can connect this to your computer's USB port. Then you can write the firmware inside into this uh, chip, into this device as well. So um, what we need to do is we need to burn the other fruit bootloader first into the device. So in order to do that, uh, we can go here. There is a release here. So it contains uh, different boards, as you can see. So um, this board is uh, from eByte. So if we look at eByte here, it has a eByte 104 BT5032. So this is uh, actually the uh, correct board for the device. So we can just download it. Oh, sorry, it's not a UF2. This is a no soft device. What we need is the, no, the one with the soft device. So you can see here. As we download, there are um, hex file, zip file, and UF2. So what we're gonna use is the uh, hex file. On, uh, if if we use the Bluetooth, it's uh, good to use the zip file. Um, so I just gonna. I have already downloaded that into the um, into the folder. Uh, so let's see. I have downloaded already to here the other fruit bootloader so you can see there are three files and it has the soft device of uh, S132 and version of 6.1.1 and this is a uh, very important if later you develop your own application and then um, you need to fill in the ad address of the flash and RAM so for example this is S132 611 so you can use this version and also the the category of soft device in order to check what is the correct starting RAM and flash address when you're doing the application development. The second thing is we need to use the tool. So this, there's a tool called Open OCD. This tool is able to uh, use the ST link to flash the bootloader into the device. Uh, here you can see this is the official web page of the Open OCD. So if you keep, click on uh, Getting Open OCD, there is a link. So you can go to this. Uh, you can go either this one or this one. But usually, uh, for me, I want to go to the official one. So I, I just go to this uh, release folder, and then it has uh, three asset. Uh, this T A R G Z. So I download this one and then extract it. Uh, again, I have already downloaded in actually in my local. So it's under here. I create a folder, open OCD, and it has a bin folder and include library and share. So uh, for us, it's uh, easy to just open the command prompt here into the bin folder and then you can just use open OCD minus H then there will be help file the, the help information available um, for us to use this open OCD 
it's using the libusb library so we need to also install the driver on windows if you're using linux or uh, other like uh, operating system then you probably don't need to do that but please uh, just double check on the web but since i'm running this one in windows this time then i need to install the the driver but uh, to install the USB driver, USB lib driver, it's uh, quite straightforward. So there is a tool called Sadik. Um, if we open it, then here we can actually see the interface. But uh, because I have already installed the driver, so you would not see anything here. But if you see Sadik, you can go to the website. Here, yeah, the Zotic driver. So you will basically see the ST Link V2 uh, for the ST Link device here. Then you can do the install uh, driver, then it will be set up for you. So after we have installed all this driver and also the downloaded the software, uh, what we can do now then is to open from the command line what we have just now here and then we should be able to start the open OCD server so let's do open OCD minus F so it's uh, use the configuration file so interface and ST link then we say we want to minus F we want to have target as an F52 so with this one then you can see it's uh, connecting to the device already and you can see the the LED start blinking so okay so since we have already um, started, the, started the open OCD so it will start listening on the port for telnet connection so it opens on different ports for different protocols and then what we can use now is uh, let's open yeah here yeah. let's open the 4444 port which is a telnet connection so let's do that yeah now you can see it's connected to on chip debugger which is uh, connected to the to this chip now so um, what we can do is also we can it has a, a lot of commands uh, that we can use but for this one, um, what we can use is a uh, program because we want to program the, the um, firmware, uh, the bootloader we want. So we can first say help. This is, there's a command called program. So this is the uh, program command that it's used. So we can use this command to write the uh, firmware or the bootloader into the device. So let's see, it's a program, file name, address, and then if we want to very pre verify, verify, or reset, and, or exit, those are the commands. So uh, you can see what's the, uh, the directory we are. Okay, so it's in here. So we want to see the one that we extracted. Let's go to here, see tools. This is where I extracted the binary. So you can see the hex files here, so we can just use this one. So we say program and then uh, this one, this is the location and then the file name. Just need to copy the name. Okay, so here then we have the, the file and then we can say uh, verify we want to verify ah, okay so we got some error so ah, okay so because of the um, um, the slash you think this is a slash t which is a tap here use is we can do either the other direction slash or we can use double slash here let's let's just use the double slash and then we can say okay now you can see that it's actually programmed the bootloader inside and the verification is also okay 
manually reset here. Then you can see here the second uh, LED start blinking slowly. So this means we are entering the uh, device firmware update mode from the serial uh, from the USB to serial uh, interface. We can also set it to OTA mode, which is when we press this button, the disk button first, and then we press the reset button and release it, and then release the disk button. And then you can see the light, LED light, the two LED lights uh, start blinking. If we want to um, write the firmware into it, uh, usually we need to use the Nordic Semiconductors uh, software. Uh, I can try to do that in the cell phone. So, in in here. So I will try to show it here. Hopefully, it's able to see. So there's a. This is the Nordic Semiconductors uh, um, Connect application. It's uh, able to download from the Google Play or the Apple Store. So scanner, we can do the scan. So you can see there is an ADAT, ADAT DFU. I'm not sure if that's clear enough. So this is the ADAT DFU. We can do the connect. So then it actually connects to the ADAT DFU. And then we can update we can update the firmware. So if, if we press this icon on the top here, so it gives us uh, different options. Uh, so the first one is the distribution package, zip file. And then it's also able to uh, select the file of soft device and then bootloader and application. So what I'm gonna do is I have already also downloaded the uh, um, Adafruit bootloader itself as a distribution package here. So I can select this one and say OK. Then I will go to the files uh, of that one. So let's look here. eByte. And then there is a zip file, which is, um, which is the one distribution package, let's say. And we do this. Then it can, we can see there is a uh, interface now it's saying okay how was the progress so it's uh, uh, the speed is 1.7 kbs so this is um, actually quite low um, but it's able to give you the graph here to, sh to see that how was the writing progress and you can see the LED light here is blinking fast so this is uh, how we can program the firmware, update the firmware through the, the form, basically. So let's give it some, some time. Maybe I can make it bigger. So, yeah, now it's, the, it's updating the, the firmware through the mobile phone. The Bluetooth. Yes, so um, I hope this video uh, helps and I hope you also enjoyed it. And yeah, if you like to see some more stuff, please uh, just leave it in the comment. So we will see next time. Um, maybe we can wait for this one to finish. And then I will say see you next time again. All right, so now it's done. It has already finished the flashing and in here the device also entering the DFU mode again and yeah so this basically concludes the example of how the how to write a bootloader into the device of this e-byte yeah thank you very much see you next time bye bye